This video explains how to convert an integer to a date in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you three different examples and all of these examples are based on the data object X that we can create in line one of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called X is appearing and we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line two of the code. And then you can see that our data object X contains an integer, which is showing the values 20, 22, 10 and 0, 5. So in this example, these values are corresponding to the 5th of October, 2022. And we can convert this integer to a real date object in the R programming language using the sdate function and the sCharacter function, as you can see in lines four and five of the code. So within those two functions, I'm specifying the name of our data object. So in this case, our data object is called X. And then I'm also specifying the format argument of the sdate function to correspond to the structure of our date. So if you run lines four and five of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new date object is appearing, which is called X date one. And we can bring this date to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new date object, which contains the year 2022, the month 10 and the day five. Now we can also use the strip time function as you can see in line eight of the code to convert our integer to a date. And within the strip time function, we also need to specify the format of our integer. So if you run line eight of the code, another date object is appearing at the top right, which is called X date two. And we can print this output to the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created another date object and this time, the time zone of our date object is also appearing on the right side of the date. We can also use the functions of the lubridate package to convert our integer to a date, as you can see in lines 11 and the following lines of the code. So in lines 11 and 12 of the code, I'm first installing and loading the lubridate package. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the YMD function of the lubridate package. And we can apply this function to our data object X. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling X state three. So if you run line 14 of the code, another data object is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another date object, which is containing the date that corresponds to our integer. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.